Welcome to Marine Quest. This annual open house at FWC's Fish and Wildlife Research Institute in St. Petersburg has evolved into a three-day event that includes two days of Marine Quest school days. It's a fun, free, hands-on field trip for students in grades four through eight. It's got a big mouth. Everybody see those teeth at the top? His teeth won't let it get out without even chewing it up. Exhibits and lab stations manned by FWRI scientists draw students into the world of fish and wildlife research. And all along the walls here are different types of plankton. Researchers use demonstrations and activities to explain individual research projects. And so what we're doing is we're tracking the performance of our hatchery by DNA analysis. All right, so that's each person get a fish. Five pet tip, so you're going to grab a tip. What better to way to help young people rugs. understand the complexity of the issues that face Florida's natural environment? Um, some kinds of bacteria, put them under a black light, and they'll glow. So we have to regulate commercial shellfish. And on the screen over here, you can see this is actually red tide cells. Marine Quest School Days draws almost 2,000 students. This is actually a habitat area for a ton of animal life is hanging out in all these seagrass beds. And we're going to pretend we're in a water column here. So as we go deeper into the water, different wavelengths absorb at different depths. A school day's field trip to Marine Quest might just shape the future of a top-notch biologist. Cool. I'm looking at this. You'll see a little tiny tag by his tail. You guys look. You see it on the tip of this guy's finger right here? Yeah. Got it in there. It's just a helping flip over. And when they're on their back, you see these front two legs? This is a spider piece. You can tell male from female the same way, right on the bottom. All right, electricity on. If they the electricity on long enough, they will eventually lose consciousness. The important thing to notice is how quickly they recover. Now we know more about this fish. We know how much it grew in the length of time it was free. We know how much it weighed. A fisherman catches this fish. Oh, whips. Instead of claws, these lobsters have whips or antennae. So we call these one or the other, and they're kind of like a rose bush. It's very delicate eyes. He has great eyesight. What's he doing? Why's he clicking at you? <laughs> The final day of Marine Quest is the Institute's open house, and the public's invited for a day of free fun for the whole family. All kinds of stuff to do inside. Outside are numerous displays and interactive stations with nearly 30 local and national organizations on hand. That sea is striped? That's how you know that's a snook. It's a goliath. They can take 400 pounds. Oh, and a sea biscuit, right? Can it move? It will. What's the one? Oh, yeah. Can you eat this? There's face painting. Kids create their own artwork using the age-old practice of giyutaku, or fish printing. Now we're going to flip it upside down. And there's wildlife origami. Well, the other half, all the way Kids over. make whales, frogs, cranes, and of course, fish. There you go. Good job. Look at a fisherman. That's awesome. FWRI's Marine Quest with co sponsors the St. Petersburg Times, the University of South Florida, St. Petersburg, and the city of St. Petersburg. I love spirit which are right here. Yep. Less than a day old. You can even play the guitar if you want. All right. We'll count on seeing you at Marine Quest. <laughs>